I am so glad that the Emperor is still around, acting as a comedic gag character now. I think he's going to be a powerful tool or an ally in the future, but right now, he's just chilling. Now, the new... Uh, also, <laughs> ReZero could never. Because Hajime gives reward in the form of letting the girl serve as his lap pillow. Yes. Only in this show <laughs> will a dude say, sure. I'll give you a lap pillow and I'll put my head on your lap as a reward for the girl. Crazy. Now, we're going into a new trial. Sorry, it's not a trial, it's a labyrinth. And usually I'm very worried about the labyrinth because it's just farming shitty CGA monsters. But this one seems different. Just like the one in the past where Hajime was pretty much calling out Kaori. And Kaori had a whole like realization of how she's constantly comparing herself to others, right? Those kind of like um, Labyrinth were more fun and it's looking like this one is also similar and it's going to be like a trial from ReZero where Hajime wakes up back on Earth as his usual self before all the crazy, you know, personality shift changed. But like Yue is still here. What's happening? Let's begin today's reaction. Hey, oh, Sensei! <laughs> Liliana is honestly, yeah, she... She is also a gag character, huh? Poor Lily. They really tossed her. I want to see the Emperor too. I want to see the Emperor also landing as well when he got tossed out. <laughs> we threw the Emperor too, don't worry. Welcome back. Influenced. She wants to be close. <laughs> Lily is Lily is slipping, bro. Lily is slipping. All these different girls just fawning for Hajime. Shizuku also is slipping a lot. Okay. Okay. These girls are all becoming more delusional, huh? Holy shit. She is actually convincing herself and coping that all the abuse is good. Yeah, damn. So that did happen. Ooh. Also, Sensei. Sensei wants a bit of Hajime too, I think. I never realized how much Lily was taking the ship personally, man. Lily is just really venting. This is how she truly feels, man. The girls don't look amused at all. Awkward zoom. Awkward zoom. Paltina's Labyrinth. Here we go. Good luck. Hmm. The other stuff that we collected from the different labyrinths. Let's put each ring in there, yes. I don't know. Try it. The tree's growing. The leaves. Something about that felt very... It's gaping, all right. <laughs> and... No, we didn't wake up in bed yet. <laughs> Middle of the forest. Oh, thank God we have Hero Koki with us. I'm so glad. I feel so safe. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, right now, maybe things have already changed. Maybe the Hajime that we know is already waking up back on Earth and this is a different one. What the hell? <laughs> or I'm slow and everyone else here are fakes and Hajime is alone right now. Huh? The fuck? Bruh. I mean, no reaction. No reaction. That's crazy. That's crazy. He just did that so easily. But like, that shows the bond that they have. That he knows that she's a fake one. That how confident he must be. But like, damn. He just, he just did that so fast. Bye bye. But these guys are good? Can we trust these? He has like a deep connection. It's just a strong bond that they've been sharing since season one, right? It, it is again crazy how he didn't hesitate at all, but if you're that close, I guess it's just that easier to tell that she is not her. My Yue. Look at the girl's blushing. Koki just confused. <laughs> Good luck. Just a bunch of flies. <laughs> Ew. Let's see it, Koki. <laughs> They're not interested at all in us. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. You're getting bodied by a bunch of insects. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Is that Kaori? Oh shit! Another ability of knowing the powers, the wings are out. Alright. How thoughtful that Hatsume is thinking for Koki. Cute bunny. Cute bunny. Never mind. Ew. Yeah, never mind. I thought it was going to be some sort of cute bunny that's going to act as like a distraction to get her guard done and something scary is going to show up. But no, what the fuck are you? Ew. Koki versus Goblin. <laughs> Geek. But Koki's getting done so dirty, I love it. Did you like that kick? Let him cook, let him cook. Maybe this goblin's important. What are you? Hello? <laughs> you could tell. It doesn't matter. It, it's about the inner connection that shared, the bond. It's so strong that the outside you would never guess, but this is Yue, guys. Yep. This is Yue. Cute. Me too, but you know, the deep connection that they have. You can understand? Okay. How do you understand this language? Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure we can do that. Look at that. Would you love me if I was a worm? If I was a goblin? Hajime could. They just have a deep bond. He just can. It's sparkling. The goblin is also, you know, blushing right now. Very cute. Very beautiful. Hmm? Some sort of earpiece? This is cursed. This is so cursed. Hearing Yui's voice out of the goblin, bro. <laughs> what is this guy? <laughs> Where is this comedy coming from? I thought it's gonna be serious labyrinth time. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, these girls could never, bro. These girls could fucking never. Teal's not even in frame. Teal, I hear Teal. I think that's Teal right now. And I think Teal is enjoying the abuse. Yes, that's Teal. I can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can all tell that one, right? Oh. Is that the friend? Where's Koki's friend at? Testing bomb by changing physical statues. Okay. まさに紡がれた絆がため。だとすれば、もう俺が片付けても問題ないかもしれないな。Oh shit, we just burning shit up. Is that our friend there? Yeah, it's Koki's friend. He got off screen. Now we have Tio and Yui together, but bro, Koki's friend, he got off screen. What the fuck? He joined us, but we didn't even know. This is so cursed. Cursed. And we're back. Okay. This is what we saw at the end of last episode. <laughs> Yui always wakes up, Hajime. Yo. Imagine if the gender roles were reversed. Holy shit. Crazy. Hajime is back to, you know, meek mild. Oh, what the hell? What's going on? Does he even realize? Sorry. Just too busy. Staying up all night watching anime. Everyone's at school. That voice acting, bro. The fucking most soy weak voice acting. <laughs> hey, you can go mad. Wow. What a hassle. Good question. It's crazy how in every frame, Shea still shows her ass. There was even the other frames where she was hugging, you could see her posterior, bro. You got a headband instead of bunny ears now. It'd be so funny to me if our teacher was not our sensei that we know, but the emperor. Or have the emperor be like the principal of the school. I, I want him to show up. This is Kaori? Who is this? So like the, yeah, that's Kaori. Kaori back in her old model. Are you ignoring me? Yes, we're even ignoring you back in the flashback. Sorry, in the trial too. So like this trial will be like, until he recognizes that this is not the reality that he knows. Like that's the test. Nope, no first name basis. Oh, damn, they have beef. Yeah, I guess too, huh? Oh. Tio? Wow, indeed. I, I still wanted the Emperor to show up, but this is a way to get Tio involved. Tio should be like the nurse. This is a little bit more like the Hajime that I know. What the fuck is his hostility? Why don't you get fired already? Oh, this is how you feel about Tio? <laughs> Damn. That's hot. She wants to be fired. That's the old Hajime. Sorry, the new Hajime that we know. Our daughter that we dropped off a long time ago. Mew's back. Hey. Where's Mew's mom at? Oh, Mew. Mermaid daughter. 
I heard that. Oh shit, Shay going in. They're gonna realize more victims. No guns. What's that reflex though? Easy. Her lucky Shay didn't have her hammer here. <laughs> Me you doing hand to hand combat is a very funny idea. I feel like if anything, Mew should be some sort of like support buff girl, right? Mermaid songs to like buff us or heal us. I, I expect her to play that type of role if she ever joined our party. The Glizzy. Bang bang! She's gonna assault us in a certain way. Oh, wait a minute. Is mom aware of what Yue wears to Hajime's room? Yet something's wrong. The real Hajime that realizes this is wrong. This is a lie. And like, if you give up here, if you feel comfortable and you just like sleep, then I guess you lose a trial. But the whole trial difficulty is the perfect life has been presented to you, but you have to realize that it's wrong and it's a lie and you have to wake up from the dream. Old lines. Season one lines, maybe. Mm. Season one content. I think this is an old soundtrack, right? Am I crazy? Oh, get the fuck out of your onna. Leave. Yeah. His voice acting's back. Smacker. Wait, wait, what? I'm an exact rep. Why would you? Why would you say that? <laughs> Why would you say that? Isn't your goal to try to make him convinced that you guys are all real and this is reality? You're slipping! What the fuck? Imagine break! What a monologue. That's right. Super Saiyan. Ideals can't replace reality. Whose voice is this? It sounds more closer to Tio, but like this voice. Who is this? The voice of the labyrinth, but like it sounds like Tio. Yeah, it could be the Liberator, the one that set up this dungeon. Probably is a Liberator. Now, I wonder if everyone else had to go through the same trial. Are we at the bottom? Yue? Yo, fuck, these look like coffins, bro. One black, one surrounded by a bunch of other ones. And that is today's episode of Arifurita the post credit scene, and that's it. Today's episode was, again, hilarious. I, I thought that we were gonna get some sort of very, like, sentimental, depressing backstory, like uh, ReZero Season 2 Trial, but it was honestly very funny. We also had to, you know, we, we got our Mew cameo, which was so nice, right? We haven't seen Mew in such a long time. Who knows when Mew could have ever come back, but, you know, having this trial exist and having Mew be referenced again was very, very wholesome. The funniest moments probably <laughs> is like realizing that this is Yue. <laughs> and then Hatsume like, oh, look how adorable she is. And everyone's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Tio as well. Tio was a bit too easy to find. It's also hilarious how Koki's friend is off screen. We did not give a fuck about finding Koki's friend, but he's all good. Now, I wonder at the end here, right? Once you realize what the true was, the difference between reality and ideals, right? And the Liberator, I think, was telling us that. 
we woke up here and there's a bunch of casket looking things are our teammates in there does every one of them need to like break out of their own separate trials to you know beat this thing i'm not really sure maybe next episode we'll be going through every other character's you know uh like illusion right of the ideals that they wanted that's it for me if you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care